I'm Clint with Pour Your Poison and we are here in my new kitchen and today I'm going to teach you how to make triple sec. Fairly easy process. It does take some time to age. You have to let it sit in a cool dry place for quite a while, anywhere from 30 to 60 days depending on how long or how much flavor you want it to pick up. So what you're going to need is you're going to need an airtight container. You're going to use six to eight oranges um, depending on how big the oranges are and how much orange flavor you like in your triple sec. Uh, before you use these, I highly recommend you wash them with a little warm water. Scrub the wax and any of the pesticides off because this will be sitting in your mixture from start to finish. So you don't want to pick any of that, that bad stuff up. You're going to need two cups of water and four cups of cane sugar. I highly recommend cane sugar. It's a little more pure, a little more natural, better flavor. And then you're also going to use... Um, a little bit of orange flower water. Basically, you're gonna add this to taste, your preference, use as much or as little as you like, but it really brings out the orange flavor and it makes it pop quite a bit. Perfect for, uh, for using triple sec. So we'll get started. We're gonna start by peeling the oranges, all eight, I'm using eight of them because I do like extra orange flavor in my triple sec. So take a potato peeler. Um, you're gonna peel all the peels off of the oranges, place them in the air airtight container. So we're going to peel all of these oranges, and when you're done with the peel, you can just throw it in the bottom of the, of the jar, and we'll come back to that a little later. Okay, now that we're on our last orange, we're going to peel this one really quick, and then what you're going to do is you're going to get started, and you're going to start cooking up basically a simple syrup solution. Um, sugar, water. We're going a little light on the water in this case, because we will be adding vodka, and this will be sitting, so it doesn't need to be as watered down as a... Um, traditional simple syrup. So we'll put the last peel in and we will take the water and the sugar over to the stove and we'll dump the sugar in and two cups of water. All right, so we'll let this heat up for a little bit. Now while that's heating, we're going to come back to the oranges and we are going to juice about a cup to a cup and a half of orange juice. So you could just do this by hand. So we're gonna squeeze all of these oranges. So this is nearly finished. Wanna get in here for a close up, check this out. You'll know exactly when it's done. It won't be as cloudy as it is now. You won't see any sugar granules in the bottom. And another thing, you don't wanna let this solution cool before adding it to the peels of the oranges because the heat of the, the simple syrup solution will actually help extract some of the flavor and the oils from the orange peel, which is what you're looking for to get full flavor for the triple sec. So I would say this is just about finished. Give it a couple more swirls and we'll reduce the heat. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly stir in the orange juice. Um, like I said, you can use a spoon. I have a whisk on hand. So low heat. We're just going to slowly stir this in. And once you get about halfway, you can just dump it in. Should be good. All right. I'm going to whisk this around just a touch. And now that that's done, we're going to kill the heat completely. All right. So we have our solution with sugar, water, orange juice and we have our orange peels. So the next step is actually dumping the solution over the orange peel. You wanna dump the solution over the orange peel first at a warm temperature before the vodka, um, just so you can heat the orange peels up um, to the appropriate temperature. So we're gonna take this and make sure you're very careful because sugar water will burn you severely. So dump the solution over the top. like so. And the next step is, of course, Ray Horse Vodka. Dump an entire bottle, 750 milliliters of vodka over the top of this. Uh, now that the vodka is in, we're gonna take our orange flower, flower water and we're going to add just a touch. I would add about a tablespoon. So now that that's done, we're gonna give this one more quick swirl. Make sure all the orange peels are submerged. Make sure the mixture is mixed up nice. 
And you can actually see that uh, the peels are already turned translucent a little bit from the hot liquid going over the top, which means that it's already extracting a lot of flavor. So stir this around just a couple minutes. Now the next step is the easy part. We're going to cover this and we're going to let it sit for anywhere from 30 to 60 days. This batch, we're only going to let sit for about 30 because we do have a lot of orange peels in here. We use some orange juice to help enhance the flavor. And we're going to cover this and every once in a while, every couple days or so, we're going to pick the bottle up. We're going to give it a quick stir, taste it if you like to see the progress. You can kind of see what happens and, and how the flavor profile changes throughout the 30 days. So, submerge all the peels and we're going to cover this. We're going to place it in the refrigerator and we'll check in with you. We'll let you know about the progress on this and uh, we'll keep you posted on how it's tasting, how it's turning out and hopefully we all get a chance to try it. So that is triple sec and uh, we'll be back to show you the final product.